Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of pallets that we're going to turn into little birdhouses, three birdhouses. So take my measurements and I'm going to mark off the walls, the side walls, and the front. This here, this here is the roof line. There's the roof. Okay, so I put a stopper, a stop block right here for seven inches, and we just cut, we just cut all these into little pieces. For them. Okay, so now that we have a cut, next step is to take this, marry that together, like that. Take another one of these puppies, put them right there. Okay, so you have the, we have six, six and five eighths, eight. So, let's see. This part becomes very, very tedious because the pallets are not straight, you know, they're bent. Some are bent certain angles, some are bent in whack off angles. So I'm putting glue here to really secure the, the walls together and the nail gun to kind of hold it until the glue dries. I have adventure time with Chris with me because I want him to learn to see how it looks like to build something from scratch. So he was there to, to watch me break apart the pallets, cut the wood, and now summing the stuff. So I want him to be well-rounded, not just with technology, but also woodworking and whatever else comes along in life. So I put together three birdhouses together, but in this video I'm just going to show one birdhouse, which is the one you're looking at right now, and because this process again is very long and very, very slow. So now I'm having Chris do the glue up so that he can actually participate instead of just standing there without, without doing anything. So I'm going to have him do the glue, or find the glue, he applies the glue, I'll have him stand back so I can staple or nail the, the, the wood together. And sometimes this wood will just shoot in whatever direction it wants. So right here, we're going to drill the hole for the bird uh, to enter. And it's about, I think it's a two inch bit, uh, I'm using Forstner bit, I like that better than the spade. So. Uh, yeah, I have to do it very carefully because for some reason, I don't know why, what type of wood pallet it is, but it is very, very tough or very strong to drill through. So I had to use my um, cord drill to drill through the, the pallet wall. And the pallets really stinks. 
I guess that's from years of being used. Now I'm nailing in the roof and then sanding down the birdhouses. This here was gonna uh, get ready, get this thing ready to uh, to paint. And this here was a very dusty, long process. And, um, but I guess it had to be done. This part was very, very long um, because I had to cut all these little tiny window pieces from one big piece of wood to a little tiny, you know, size uh, trim. So I blew up the, the windows. So I only actually had enough with I only I only had actually had enough windows for one full house. The other two houses will just have one full window and a small size window. So again, so here's the glue up. No nails, no staples. It's just gonna hang out. I, I'm using tight bond too because it is weather or water resistant. And here are the letters of the family's last name. And there you see that that birdhouse has a small window. The um, and then there's also a, little, a tiny hole underneath the big hole. And that's where the the tree or, or what do you call that? That's where the bird's gonna land. The landing pad, if you will. And I'm using acrylic paint. I love acrylic because when it dries, it it's it maintains that brightness. And I think the bright color stands wow. out. I didn't want to go with any traditional, wow. you know, white colors or color schema that you see at the, at the store stating that it's rustic and whatnot. I think those are pretty lame. So I like using acrylic paint, uh, particularly the bright ones. And again, this part took a long time. So I only need to apply one coat to, uh, to the house. So that's pretty much all I needed. And here I'm painting on the red on the roof. Um, I had to mask the house out so that I didn't get any red paint on the nice blue or green or yellow house. So, and for some reason I decided to use a foam brush instead of a regular paintbrush. Um, but what? I don't know. It, it did. It worked. Okay. So here are the, the these sticks that I'm that I'm shaving off. These are actually the sticks from the foam brush. So I just repurposed them. So I just remove the foam, uh, throw that away, soak these guys in water. Yeah. And after that, they're just very easy to shave off and shove in with a little, with a little hammer. Nice. Is it you know the wood was wet, right? Uh -huh. So that made it easy, easy for me to carve. Oh, maybe. So at this point, you yeah, start removing the tape. I'm just telling you what to do. Very careful. All right, so that's a wrap. We have three birdhouses of out of what two pallets. So this here is going to go to one sister. No, this is ours. One sister and another sister. So again, this is made out of pallets. And it looks pretty cool. What do you think, Chris? It's pretty cool. Alright, I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up. Thumbs and up subscribe. and subscribe. Goodbye!